How to make sales credit memos in Business Central. If I get complaints from my customer or I get items back from my customer, I might need to make a sales credit memo in Business Central. Let's see how that works. So getting a sales credit memo, maybe I'm getting an item back and I wanna create a new sales credit memo directly from my menu to the customer number. And I've sold some goods and the normal way to prepare my sales credit memo is to copy the posted sales invoice. So I'm gonna go up to here and I'm gonna type in sales credit memo and I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna to go to new And I'm going to select my customer name. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to prepare and copy document. It's also possible to copy other documents, but if I want the pricing to be completely correct, I should select the invoice if possible. So I'll select my posted invoice and I can select my document number. And it will, of course, filter on my customer name that I've added. So, posted invoice. I'm gonna go here. And I'm actually going to type in here we go. I'm gonna click OK. From my copying window, I could also recalculate the lines, but normally the default will be to not do that because I would like the prices to go all the way back the way it, it was actually created. And after copying my invoice into the document, I can even change the line. So maybe in this example, I would like to um, take this back. And so I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna go to manage and I'm going to delete this line. And likewise with, um, let's say this one, go to manage, oops, manage, and I'm going to delete this one as well. And the reason I'm copying the document and not just uh, entering the line is to get the connection to the posted sales invoice in which this item was actually created. So it could have been possible also just to enter a sales credit memo manually with the customer number in the lines. But in this case, it wouldn't be linked to my originally posted sales invoice. So now I'm done. I can preview my posting, my statistics, et cetera. And when I'm done with all that, I can just post the credit memo. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to posting and post, and I'm going to click yes and yes and i could open the posted credit memo to see how it looks if i want to do that that's a standard functionality and i can just check that everything is correct and this is of course the posted sales credit memo meaning the financial perspective of all of this so if i navigate to my entries so i'm going to go to actions and i'm going to go to find entries right here I can see on this document, it's all the financial entries and documents related to that, meaning my posted sales credit memo um, for um, GL, tax entry, et cetera. But it would also have made an item ledger entry on a posted document because I actually got the item back. So I could search for my posted return receipt. Of course, because I got the item back. So I'm gonna go up to here and I'm gonna type in posted return seat. There it is, and click on that. And open this, let's close that right there. Scroll back down. So on my inventory, on my warehouse, somebody needs to have a document to handle this. And that was the posted return received. Here I can see my posted return received. And if I navigate to the entries on that one and the document, I can see there's an item ledger entry with the negative amount on that specific item. So I'm going to go to process and, oh, no, sorry. I'm going to go to more options, actions. 
find entries. There we go. This is my item ledger entry. I'm going to click on that and scroll to quantity. So of course the quantity will be positive because I added to my inventory as well as a normal quantity with the type sales will be negative in my item ledger entries. 